Today, we're going to have good vibes, positive energy. You ever heard that term, positive energy? Yeah. In case you didn't realize it, positive energy, negative energy, it is all real and it's all around us all the time. And uh, you know what? If you're a ghost buster or if you're a ham radio operator, you might want to be able to measure some of that positive and negative energy. Well, this time we're going to talk about that. Uh, and I'm going to show you this cool little EMF meter that might help you with your positive energy problem. This time on K6 UDA Radio. Let's do this. All right, guys. Welcome back to the show. Uh, what if I told you that there was RF sprinkled all throughout here? Electromagnetic fields, magnetic fields, electrical fields, RF fields. What would you say? Yeah, I would too. Anyway, guys, this time I've got this little device here. This is supposed to measure the EMF fields, the magnetic fields, the uh, RF fields, and show me where I might have some interference. We're going to take a look at it. And I'll let you know exactly what I think of this thing. Is it worth your money? Is it worth your time? Is it a good tool to put in your toolbox for ham radio or even prepping? Now, first of all, this thing is about the size of an average handheld radio. On the bottom here, this is how you charge it. USB-C, very, very smart and it's got a pretty flat battery inside. I thought that that other slot there was going to be something for a uh, uh, SD card, but nope, it isn't, so you don't want to put one in there. All right, turning this thing on. Uh, it's a decent display. It's not a, uh, not a wonderful display. A little bit cryptic there. I'm sitting here in Studio A, there's all kinds of stuff going on right now. I've got uh, computer running. I've got cameras running. All this stuff is uh, throwing off some EMF, and that's what we're measuring right now is the electromagnetic uh, energy. Now, when you get tired of that incessant beeping after about uh, 15, 20 seconds, you can always turn that off, which is a godsend. Now, position number two is magnetic energy, and position number three is RF. I've uh, mainly tested the electromagnetic and the RF because I really can't find a use for the magnetic measurement. And before you big brain types uh, start getting on me about not knowing what the hell I'm talking about, yeah, you're right. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm just a dumb cop. I'm not a scientist. The bottom set of buttons on this thing uh, toggle between normal and peak readings. That's it. That's all the controls. Hey, I just thought of something. This would be a fantastic time to stop and ask you guys a big favor. Uh, it would really help me if you guys would hit that subscribe button down below, if you haven't already done that, to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment. Let me know, do you think this is a uh, better way to uh, measure for uh, interference in your radio setup or in your prepping life? Or uh, do you think the old fashioned way of using another radio and walking around the house 
is an equally effective way? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Back to the show. So now to test this meter, uh, I've had it now for several weeks and I've kind of put it through its paces. I've gone all over the property. Uh, I've tried a ton of things. I'm going to show you now some of the places that I went around the property, around the house, uh, throughout Studio A and Studio B to see how much or how sensitive or not sensitive this thing is and to see if we can make sense of what the meter says. Now this is just a quick roll around Studio B to see where the RF is. Yes, the meter did come with these uh, little instructions, this little tiny instruction book, which uh, if you're 30 years old, you're gonna be able to read this. But I'm 61. I don't get to read this too well. So, downloaded a copy of the instructions and uh, away we go here. Applications, mobile cell phone, cell tower, RF radiation, smart uh, meter RF radiation, Wi-Fi router, Bluetooth radiation, overhead AC power lines, refrigerators, circuit breakers, appliance EMF. Um, these are all the things that it says that you can measure for. The bottom set of, uh, of numbers there, uh, three, five, and seven, toggle between average and peak on uh, all three of the um, all three of the deals uh, press number one a short press and that'll turn off that incessant beep that seems to be going on all the time in radio frequency mode uh, and that's basically putting out or measuring, whatever you're putting out on your antenna, uh, measuring what may be coming in to your shack. Over the noise of the repeater fans and a little bit of HF in here, here's what's cool. I live in a fairly low noise environment now. Unlike when I was in the uh, People's Republic of California, man, I had a constant S8, S9 noise level. It was, it was horrendous the last couple of years. So, looking at this little guy here, it's uh, fairly innocuous. It gives me an idea of what's going on in and around my shack. Uh, I do have some uh, some RF issues inside the shack. They're mainly battery chargers. It's on RF, and I've got zero on the RF. I have zero on magnetic and electromagnetic. And you can see the plug has a little bit of uh, electromagnetic energy. But you got to stick this thing like right on it. Now that it's plugged in and I'm a couple of feet away. Over 66 micro whatever they are. RF energy here. Right on it. Yeah. So there is some RF energy right on top of it. Electromagnetic, not so much, but, um, or magnetic, not so much, but the electromagnetic, that thing is, uh, that's showing me quite a little spike. All right, now here comes my repeater test.
Okay, 6GDA testing. One, two, three, four. The other thing you're going to notice is when you take this thing out into bright sun, okay. the display basically just goes away. It is almost virtually impossible to see anything. So, what's my final verdict on the little EMF meter here? Um, first of all, fairly cool little device. Yes. Uh, the company that puts these out sent this to me for review. And uh, I thank them. But what I promised them is an honest review. And um, although it is fairly cool and it does work as advertised, the instructions are a little bit on the cryptic side. Doesn't really explain clear and concise uh, what is what is safe exposure, what is unsafe exposure. You know, you turn that thing on and it starts beeping all of a sudden. And then all of a sudden it's not beeping. And then it gets a little bit closer, and a little bit closer. And at 50, it starts beeping again. So I don't know what that means. And then I turn off the beep because I get a little bored with it. And it's annoying. Um, yes, it does uh, pick up RF. It does pick up all the stray RF. It picks up all the, the stuff in your house. The refrigerator, the light switches, um, the cameras that are on, the computers that are on. Uh, the company wanted me to share with you a promo code and here's the promo code somewhere in here. Well, actually I'll put it in the description. Uh, promo code is in the description. You could buy it on Amazon. There are, uh, much cheaper versions of a EMF meter on Amazon that you can buy. Do you need one of these? No, you don't need one. You can use uh, a shortwave radio, a portable shortwave radio, pretty much do the same thing. Uh, you could set it up for the frequency that you want to test for and run around your house and see what uh, interference you get on a, at a different frequency or whatever. Uh, this does make it easy. It gives you a nice visual representation as you run around the house. And uh, if you have the speaker off, it doesn't make a whole lot of noise. Makes no noise if you have the speaker off. That's a good thing. Uh, it's very easily rechargeable with uh, USB-C. It does does give you a couple of handy little controls. Um, the uh, electromagnetic field or the, yeah, electromagnetic fields, it gives you magnetic energy. I guess that's for like microwaves. So uh, if you want to see how far out your microwave is casting its evil rays, this will do it. And then the RF energy, uh, the radio frequency stuff, uh, which we're all very much more concerned about. And, uh, and it'll test for all that exposure around your antennas and stuff uh, and tell you where the dangerous parts are. Because believe it or not, antennas can burn you. With enough power and enough juice going out, the stuff can harm you. And it can harm you where you don't even see it until one day you're growing a big blob out of the back of your head. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope this was interesting. I hope this helped you. And uh, if it did, again, hey, 
thumbs up on the video. If you haven't already hit the subscribe, please the subscribe. And uh, you could check me out on Rumble also. K6UDA, Rumble. Uh, that's all I've got, guys. If you want one of these or you want something like it, go check them out. They're on, uh, they're on Amazon. And with that, I will catch you guys the next time. We'll be back to another prepping video next time. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.